gosh. Take five hundred, seriously. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am having like the most awful hair day ever. You know when you do everything you possibly can to your hair and it still doesn't work? My hair is just on its own mission today. No, it's just not working for me today. I did have it in nice Dutch braids, but it looked awful. Well, I thought they were nice until I started filming this and then I had to take them out and do this. So I apologize in advance for the awful hair, but today's video is not about hair, thank the Pope, because otherwise I wouldn't have filmed today. Um, today's video is about the fact that I got no makeup on and linked to this, I am going to be doing the no makeup makeup tutorial. Such an oxymoron, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So recently it's been a trend that celebrities are wearing this no makeup makeup look where they obviously are wearing makeup but it looks like they're not wearing makeup or at least it looks like they're more natural and they just don't look like they got some cake on their face. I thought I would show you my take on the no makeup makeup look. Don't know why I'm doing this the whole time. But anyway, you get my drift. They shouldn't call it the no makeup makeup look because, or no makeup makeup, because you're obviously wearing makeup. I think the better term for this is the natural makeup look. So rather you looking more natural than you, you know, too much makeup on your face. But I'm still captioning this as the no makeup makeup tutorial because that is the going trend at the moment and I don't know why I'm using my hands so much. Foxy Mama just said to me the other day, she's like, in all your videos you like to do this and you like to use your hands. Anyway, let's begin with this no makeup makeup look. So what I'm going to use is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. I use it in every tutorial. So I'm not going to show you how to do this, but just plonk it on. I think this primer from Maybelline is probably the best to go for. I feel like something's on my face. To go for when doing this look because it literally erases your pores. It honestly makes your skin flawless. Besides me using it in every tutorial, this is the best primer for this look and every other look. Next, I'm going to be using the Dream Velvet Foundation in the shade Nude from Maybelline once again. It gives you that velvet smooth satin look and it gives you that natural look. And then I suppose, what is on my face here? It's like so itchy. It's only like tickling me on my face, but there's nothing there. Anyway, I really like this foundation because it gives you that natural look and it doesn't look like you have foundation on your face and it doesn't look like you, I don't know, have your cake on your face. If you're going for a natural look or even a summer look, I would suggest using this foundation. So let's apply this on my face. blend into your neck otherwise you're gonna defeat this whole natural looking thing that we're going for okay so you know when nothing's going your way well today's that day all right as i saw so i have to wear my glasses and now i'm going to attempt to do makeup without my contact lenses on and i had to change directions in the room because my lights died so now i'm using natural light and I told you about the hair situation. After I've applied the foundation, I'm going to be using these, the beads. This lip oil from Essence in the flavor Good in the Mood. And it's got an apricot scent and it's filled with vitamin E. I don't know how to say that. Jojoba and avocado oil. And I really like putting this on because it makes my lips super soft. I'm going to put on some concealer under my eyes on the dark circles and around all blemishes that I have because you know we want that natural look as if we're not wearing makeup when we are wearing makeup just going to dab it under my eyes under my eyebrows and on my blemishes blender is like the best thing it's honestly a good investment I think you should do it if you don't have one because it gives you that picture ready look 
You know you get those apps that take away dark circles, make your teeth white, all those things? You don't need those apps when you have a beauty blender. Okay, besides the white teeth part, but the blemishes and the dark circles are taken away by this bad boy. I kind of feel perfect now because my face is done. Flawless! with this guy. Okay, just to set in the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to be using the All Matte Compact Powder from Catrice. I always use it, so I really need to demonstrate this. You can have a look at it in my other tutorials as well. I'm going to apply it all over my face with my Kabuki brush. I would suggest doing this look in summer. I was going to say winter, but I meant summer because you already have that bronzed look and you already have some color in your skin. When you do this natural, no makeup makeup look, in winter, you're gonna look like a ghost and I think people are gonna actually be more scared of the way you look than when you don't wear makeup. So I suggest that you do this in summer because it gives you that summer, spring, natural look. Very, uh, hippie vibe. Um, in winter, yeah, don't do it. Well, that's just my recommendation. I wouldn't do it in winter, but I mean, each to their own. Right, next thing I'm going to be doing is contouring my face. Just going to put a little bit of bronzer on because obviously we're not doing a whole full contour because we're doing the no makeup makeup look. I need to reiterate this to myself every time so that I remind myself that we're not going to overdo it. So my favorite bronzer is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and that is what I'm going to be using to just give my face some definition and give it some color because I do look a little bit white and now I just spilt it everywhere. And I'm just going to apply where the sun would naturally hit my face. Using my contour brush from Color or Kayla, I watched a um, video the other day from someone, I'm not going to mention their name, but they said Kayla and I say Color and I don't know how to pronounce this now. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is it. C-A-L-A. -A. Keep spilling this stuff. Now I'm just going to apply on the lid itself because I smashed this into tiny pieces when I dropped it the other day. Actually not the other day, quite a while back. So I'm not going to apply this because it's going to be too heavy on my face. So I'm just going to be applying it from the lid itself. going to do is apply, 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 gosh this hair today is just not working for me. I'm going to apply a highlighter and this is the High Glow Mineral Highlighter Powder from Catrice. It's very, very nice. I'm not going to go over the top with it because it is very pigmented. So I'm just going to apply lightly on my nose, my T-zone here and just under the eye here. And on my cupid's bow, lightly. I suppose a fan brush would be better, but you gotta make do with what you have. I am shining, glowing, and looking a little bit more human. So I suppose this is as natural as you can get with no makeup, makeup. With wearing makeup, but saying that you're not wearing makeup, but you're wearing makeup, the no makeup, makeup look. Now I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be using the Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. You can obviously use it for just your brows or your lashes. I like to use it for mainly my brows but now and then I like to use it for my lashes because it gives your lashes great definition. So I'm just going to apply it lightly on my brows and brush in a diagonal direction. Okay bad boys are now bushy and in the right place sort of now i wouldn't suggest just leaving your brows like this especially if you're gonna do your face you might as well do your brows with this no makeup look to fill in my brows i'm gonna be using the next micro brow pencil and i'm just going to fill them in lightly and just you know like i say always fill in those bald patches the 
this, what do they call this brush? Swirly brush or in every tutorial I say the wrong thing. I just say brush and it's not just a brush. I don't know um, what the actual terminology is, but I'm gonna be using this just to brush in a diagonal direction, just to make my eyebrows look natural. Right, once we've done the eyebrows, it's time for the eyeshadow. Obviously, we're going for a natural look, so we're not going to apply lots of eyeshadow, but we're just going to get rid of the vein looking areas. Ah, oh, I just put my whole finger in the eyeshadow. Great. This is the Nudes Sand palette from Catrice. They have like obviously the shiny metallic uh, colors, but I'm going to use the matte color because we're going for a no makeup look. So I'm just going to apply this color over here on a blending brush and I'm just going to apply it all across my eyelids. I'm just going to add a little bit of this pink shade also from the nudes palette and I'm just going to apply it on the crease of my eye. Finally using my angled brush I'm going to apply this color over here from the Urban Decay palette which is Booty Call, that one over there. And I'm going to use my angled brush. I'm going to be applying it under my eye. eyeshadow brush I'm just going to apply this color over here it's like a um, light brown shade from the Sans Nude palette I'm just going to apply it just in the corner of my eyes lightly right so I'm using my blending brush I'm just going to blend it all in together you're gonna do with the eyes is apply mascara I would suggest not using a heavy mascara I've opted with the essence lash princess mascara which says false lash effect but it is very light it's not like my favorite one from Maybelline which is the lash sensational mascara which is really heavy and you do actually see you've got mascara on but it and it makes your lashes super thick and voluminous if that's such a word where this one's a little bit lighter and because we're going for a no makeup look I'm gonna be applying this one one eye done But never least is a lipstick. Now, I've decided to use this cream cup pink nudie colored lipstick from MAC. So I'm gonna apply the lightest, lightest color and closest to my lip color. All right, everybody. So here you have my no makeup makeup look. This is just my take on it. There are different ways to do it. I just feel like I don't have a cake on my face and I still feel natural, but I have enough confidence. I feel like I don't have too much makeup on and I feel natural, but I do feel confident in myself that I have, I don't know, makeup gives me this kind of confidence. So I do feel like now that I have a little bit of makeup on, but not too much, I still feel good. I think makeup does give a person a lot of confidence. I really hope you liked it and that you were inspired by it and it helped you, I don't know, get an idea of the going trend at the moment. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you soon. Now I'm gonna go paint the town red with my no makeup makeup look. Something like that. See ya!